So if I asked you to define the gospel, what would you say? I would say... Hmm. Well, whenever they say the gospel, they say teach people the gospel. So I would say the gospel is the way that you should live. It's, it's like an instruction from God on how you should live according and it's basically in the life like in this life how you should live and how you should go about it how you like an instruction guide kind of on how to get to heaven basically okay Janello when I asked the question surprisingly enough many of the people respond just the way that you did when I asked them to define the gospel but what if I was to say to you that's not the gospel would you want to know what the true gospel is uh, yeah. okay so Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, he said, this is the gospel that I preached to you unless you believed in vain. He says, this is the gospel that you're saved by. And he specifically defined what the gospel is. And I want to give you this. <laughs> Christ sacrifices in accordance with the scriptures that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. So the gospel is Christ's death and his resurrection. That's a lot different than the way you defined it. Yeah. Because you defined it as me-centered. You define the gospel as all about you. The gospel is the way that you should live. It's, it's like an instruction from God on how you should live, on how to get to heaven, basically. But the gospel's not about you. It's about Christ. When Christ died on the cross and rose from the dead 2,000 years ago, you weren't even born. That happened way before you and I were born. What part, Chidello, did you have to do with the gospel? Uh, I didn't have any parts to do with it. Okay, so the gospel is not about Chidello, it's not about us, it's about Christ. So that's the most important point. And I think helping you to understand what the gospel is and what salvation is. And the other important point is this, Chidello, is that God saves us by that very gospel which we didn't have anything to do with. You need to repent of any thought that you could make yourself right before God, that you could be a good person, that your good works, that your righteousness could get you to heaven. Because the Bible says there's no one righteous, not even one. We can't follow the law. The law was put in place to lead us to Christ so we would be justified by faith. And so what God did, Chanello, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to live the perfect life that we couldn't live. He fulfilled all of the laws for us. He said in Matthew 5, 17, I didn't come to abolish the law, I came to fulfill it. And so Christianity, look at it this way, Chidello, is a substitutionary religion. God sent his son as a substitute for you and me. And that's what 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, God made Jesus, who had no sin, to be sin for us so that through him we might take on the righteousness of God. You ready to repent? Yeah, I think I repented throughout the week. I actually had a, I had like a, a sit down to kind of, you know, with myself and God. Because things weren't going too good, so like, I felt like it was the only way out. So this is another one of those moments, Janello, yeah. where you're going to have a sit down with God. And God is telling you that he wants you to repent right now of any thought that you could make yourself right before him. If we're not trusting in ourselves, but trusting in the gospel, which has already been done by Christ, then we can know that we have eternal life. And that's what the Bible says. Jesus said in John 5, 24, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life, you will not be condemned. You've crossed over from death to life. And notice that in 1 John 5, 12, Janello, it, John wrote, he who has the son has life. He do, who does not have the son does not have life. And remember what Jesus said. He said, you've crossed over from death to life. So here's the thing that I would recommend for you, Janello, and I appreciate your time. I would recommend that you have another sit down with God and you repent of any thought that you're a righteous person before him. Tell him that you have no righteousness of your own, that you're a sinner that desperately needs a savior. And I would also say, Chinello, that what you need to do is you need to start trusting in the gospel, not in yourself. And here's the great news, Chinello, if you do that, if you trust in the gospel and not in yourself, then you can proclaim the promises of the Bible like 1 John 5, 13, that says, I write these things, this book, for those of you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you can know that you have eternal life. What do you think about everything I've said, Janello? I think I said everything.
think it's all very promising. I definitely understand what you're saying. I understand better now that the gospel is not about me. It shouldn't be something that's self-centered. So I definitely understand what, what the gospel is now. Have another sit down with God and talk to him about that. And we appreciate your time, Janello.